deer were first introduced into the park in 1662 by the Duke of Ormond, William Butler, and uh, it was set up as a royal deer hunting park, and uh, it's, they've been here ever since. So they've been here over 350 years. With the deer themselves, the deer are here so long, and they're like, the park is theirs. You know, it's um, they'll just naturally roam and forage throughout the park. They're well used to people. Uh, myself, myself personally, I'll come in. Um, one of my duties would be to come in and check the deer on a daily basis. You know, as 14 million car journeys through the park each year, so I'd come in in the morning to see if anything's injured or there's any incidents. But uh, other than that, the deer more or less fend for themselves. The mating season uh, is in October. Um, the bucks now are in the, the bachelor area. This is the bachelor here just behind us. And uh, the bucks will move into the female area up around Castlenock end of the park uh, in around early September. And late September they're starting to set up stands and uh, areas where into the female area uh, where um, the bucks then will uh, fight for dominancy to see who'll get to mate with the females. This normally peaks around the third week in October and as regards safety for people, a um, big problem in the park is people coming in feeding the deer. We uh, highly uh, uh, recommend that people do not feed the deer. It's very dangerous, they're a wild animal. Even though like, they're used to people and they look quite timid, um, if you get too close, the antlers can be quite dangerous. Their hooves are like blades. So as I said, people are bringing in bread and carrots and everything else, and, and uh, it's causing all sorts of problems. There's enough food in the park uh, to sustain a healthy herd. I think the trend is people want to get selfies and photographs and post them on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, but it's highly dangerous. Uh, I, like, I think a, a girl was injured there. Um, she was feeding the deer a piece of chocolate. And like it's, as it's a wild animal, it doesn't understand. And it's, the chocolate was gone within seconds, and he wanted more, so he came head on. And I think he, he caught her on the caught her in the mouth, and she had a bus lip. So it's it's quite dangerous. Just again, I can't stress it enough. Like we 500 deer here at the moment. If we if we didn't have a call, they didn't manage the deer. Whatever is deer, they have to be managed. Um, like if we let the population uh, grow uh, in a five-year period, we could be into the thousands and there wouldn't be enough food on the ground to support a healthy herd. And there also um, would be a lot more car accidents. Uh, we, at, at present, we'd probably have around to 30, 40 uh, uh, deer vehicle collisions per year. We'd expect at least 100 fawns to be born this year in June. Uh, the fawns are born in June, um, so we'll go out and we'll tag every, we'll try and tag all the fawns in June with students from UCD. Uh, UCD will do their research. Um, the call is also done in accordance with UCD, uh, you know, best practice and you know, what's keep the right age groups as well.